hope you all have had a great week. Uh, and I welcome all of you to our weekly community of practice Sunday check-in session, a half hour of Dharma, reflection, and community connections. If you are a new member of our community, please accept our wholehearted welcome to you. If you have any questions regarding our practices and topics, we're all here to help. So it is customary for people in Australia to begin any meetings by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. So in the spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of our land. We walk, study, and reside on the Wudiwudi people of the Dawo Nation. I pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples of today. And I also pay my respects to the traditional custodians of the various lands on which you all are. So the check-in session have been developed by our community's practice team and the entire community. And the purpose of this session is to develop a reflective practice in response to changes. So guided by humanistic Buddhism, we would like to cultivate our practices and to build memorable friendships. So thanks for the suggestion from Stephen and Warren. This year, we put an overarching purpose for the first half year sessions. Uh, apart from the weekly topics, we would like to invite you to ponder how we can connect our discussions and reflections to our daily life. So last month, uh, Venerable Dr. Wei led us to look backwards and forwards and to build metaverses. Uh, this month, Dr. Jonathan Page will guide us and inspire us to develop a new understanding of well-being. So now let's welcome Dr. Page. Thank you, Yijan, and auspicious greetings to uh, everybody from the 10 directions. So today we'll consider something very applicable to daily life, and, and namely the nature of being and the wonders of well-being. So today and for the next three weeks, we will focus our attention, our awareness, and our felt sense on the fundamental phenomenon of being as opposed to not being and as opposed to doing or going. The heart and diamond and many other Mahayana sutras elaborate this human experience of being for us. The phrase well-being is often used loosely in common speech, as with the words love, kindness, and happiness, with the true profound meaning behind the spoken word often lost, never fully encountered and thus having no spiritual impact. Thankfully, there are many traditional meditation techniques available to explore and understand and strengthen our sense of being, and therefore the true notion of well-being. So at this moment, let's enjoy a brief meditation together so that we can test our awareness of being. So to meditate on the body is to invite the awareness of being. So gently shut your eyes and let them soften and begin to relax. And with awareness of your body, relax your forehead and your cheeks and your lips and all the facial muscles, your neck muscles, your shoulders, your upper arms and lower arms, your hands and fingers, thumbs and your back. Let a wave of softness move downwards from the back of your neck all the way down to your bottom. Relax your thighs, your calf muscles, your feet, and finally your toes and feel the whole body completely relax and be aware that your body has relaxed. So now focus your awareness to the tip of your nose and to the nostrils and start to follow the spontaneous rhythm of your breath. Be aware of this rhythm and notice the air moving in through the nostrils 
Sometimes the air feels cool and sharp, filling the lungs. And when the lungs are full, there is a short pause. So notice that. And then the air, all by itself, begins to escape through the nostrils once again. The air now warm and soft. And when the lungs are empty, there is another pause. And then the next breath arises all by itself. You are totally aware of your breath. So maintain that focus on the rhythm of your breath for another minute by yourself. So now when you're ready, you can open your eyes slowly and return to the present moment. And hopefully we'll have experienced with awareness your state of being. Now we can consider that there are in fact four pillars to the sense of well-being: Awareness, connection, and with connection, interconnection, and with reference to the late Thich Nhat Hanh, interbeing. So our being is interbeing with others. And the third pillar is insight, and the fourth, purpose in life. And we will consider the second, third, and fourth in the future weeks. So each of these pillars can be further developed and strengthened, and the four are mutually enhancing. So awareness, the first pillar, which we've already experienced, is the sensation of being able to pay sustained attention, holding one's attention, to be self-aware and to be fully focused, even with a state of single-pointed focus. So a wandering mind without attention, may be an unhappy mind. It's unable to see reality clearly, and thus it is inclined towards self-torment, greed, hatred, and further delusion. But we can examine awareness even more deeply. I refer here to several sources, including Martin Aylwood. So awareness contains many qualities, including unconditional loving, compassion, equanimity, discernment, accepting everything. In other words, all inclusive of all experience. As we understand this essential truth, this verity, we find that we can make room for whatever appears in consciousness. We find that we can welcome all experience, positive or negative, with equanimity. And to display this further, I'm attracted once again to the poem from Jahaladin Rumi from the 13th century called The Guest House that you may know, but it's very relevant here. The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome all and entertain them all. Even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be cleaning you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them all at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So we might look at the next slide. 
This is a an image which had impact on me, and this represents awareness or even awareness of awareness. And you can see the illuminated sense of being totally aware of the environment, the cloudiness that sometimes obscures the clear reality arising in the form of the shimmering ripples on that surface. And you can see the human head totally within the environment. So I hope during the checkout, you can consider some of these deep matters about your own sense of being, and in particular, well-being. So now back to you, Yijun. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Page, for inspiring us to rethink about well-being and starting from enhancing our wellness. So now let's contemplate and discuss about the following questions. So the first one, what is your concept of well-being and how does it feature in your experienced life? Second one, how aware are you of awareness and how important is this quality to you? So now we will be placed in groups of three to four to share and discuss. In the discussion, we do recommend you spending some time to get to know each other and then discussing our questions. There will be some Zoom notifications to guide you, but, feel, uh, but please feel free to let the flow of your discussion to guide you. Our sessions are guided by Meta, which is unconditional love and kindness for all sentient beings. So let's use these brief call sessions to express and receive loving kindness and from one another and take time to pause, share, and listen. We'll also ask you to share some of your findings with the larger group at the end of the breakout discussion. So now let's go to our breakout room for rich and nourishing discussions. See you all back in 15 minutes. Well, thank you everybody. And I hope that uh, breakout session uh, was productive for you in talking about um, your deep experience of, um, of, uh, of wellness and well-being and being aware what it is to experience a very fundamental state of well-being and, uh, and how a developed uh, quality of awareness is, is critical to that. So if you feel so inclined, you can put your feelings and comments and statements, um, inspirations into the chat box and share those uh, ideas and feelings with others help others uh, make further progress themselves. So we've got a few minutes to do that before we conclude the session. Yeah, well, the importance of building an in, uh, better relationships here yeah, with oneself as well as with others is uh, vitally important. And well, being aware of our Buddha nature, of course, is vital. That's really one of the objectives of this exercise is to identify this sense of well-being, which is really a manifestation of our Buddha nature. And it may allow us to identify a purpose in our life. That's, uh, we'll be talking a bit about more uh, that uh, later in, in the month and how identifying a purpose, a sense of purpose and meaning in your life contributes to well-being. And also, as uh, Bruce mentions, it allows peace with oneself, which is so important. It's so hard to find this fundamental sense of peace and a sense of balance, yes a balance of, uh, well, of sensations and ideas and feelings. And awareness, yes, uh, as a skill, it certainly is a skill. Um, it can be a difficult skill to master. And of course, it may come and go, may disappear when you need it most, and then you have to seek it again. But in order to um, manage the unsettling and wandering mind, as well as uh, external stimuli, it's very important to have this stable sense of awareness to draw upon. So can continue to uh, add to the chat and contribute your wisdom and discoveries from the, uh, from the conversations. And these will all be noted and they may well turn up in a poster in uh, a short period of time so that everybody can benefit from your experience. So Yi John, I think we may conclude the session. Yeah, thank you, Dr.
Dr. Pace. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, please allow me to share my screen. Um, so uh, we really hope the check-in session was helpful to you, and we hope you experience the unconditional love and compassion of this community. But for anyone who might be experiencing a greater need than what they could meet, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And you can also reach out to the professional organizations on the screen. And so a kindly reminder for anyone who might be interested in studying at NTI. So deadline to apply for the Senior Education Foundation Scholarship of the second round this year will be 15th April. So go for it to reveal your unlimited potential with NTI and to enhance the well-being for the world. As we uh, check out today, let's recite the dedication of marriage together to send love and compassion to whoever in need. Let us now dedicate the goodness of what you have done to all living beings. May kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity pervade all worlds. May we cherish and build affinities to benefit all beings. May Chan, Pure Land, and Precepts inspire equality and patience. May our gratitude and humility give rise to great vows. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, now we will have our usual post check in discussion. Uh, so please stay around if you have time. Otherwise, see you all again next Sunday at 11 a.m. And please remember to consider how our discussion today regarding well-being can be applied into our daily life.